1867년 파리에서 열린 만국박람회 그때까지 동양을 신비의 대상으로만 생각했던 유럽인들은 박람회에 출품된 일본 자기에 열광하며 동양의 이국적인 문화에 빠져들 수밖에 없었는데요. 이렇게 일본 문화가 유럽에서 대유행하자 이런 현상을 표현하기 위해 자포니즘이라는 용어까지 등장할 정도였죠. 하지만 파리 만국 박람회가 끝난 지 150년 후에 세계를 사로잡고 있는 건 일본 문화가 아닌 대한민국의 한류입니다. 영화 드라마 한식 뷰티 케이팝에 이어 전통 소프트 파워라 할수 있는 조선 백자 다랑아리와 한국 단색화까지 세계 미술계를 열광시키고 있는데요. 이러한 한류의 확산 속에 우리나라에 대한 외국인들의 인식은 과거 자포니즘의 주인공 일본과 비교했을 때 어떤 수준일까요? 호주인들을 대상으로 한 길거리 인터뷰 영상에서 이들은 일본에 대해서는 애니메와 벚꽃 정도를 떠올린 반면 한국에 대해서는 음식부터 패션, 이스포츠에 이르기까지 다양한 분야에 관심을 보였는데요. 자세한 내용을 지금부터 확인해 보겠습니다. 아, uh, so can you tell me what do you think of Japan? Well, I'm I'm pretty sure it's a country that exists. That I think that's true actually. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of Japan? Um, I think it's beautiful and it looks really cold, which is different from here. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to put in words. It's um, it's got a lot of culture. It's got a lot of tradition. Polluted, but pretty. I think they eat weird, weird food. <laughs> um, well, I've never been myself, but I've heard that it's like really modern, and I like that idea. I love cities and amazing skyline and whatnot. Really good nightlife, I imagine as well. Um, never really thought about it that much. It's like anime stuff. <laughs> I used to be a weeaboo when I was in year eight, so I mean, it's a what? Like, it's weeaboo. What like, is I that? I used to watch anime a lot. Uh, Japan, it's pretty dope. Uh, I've been there myself. There's some really nice city streets and stuff, but I mainly love the culture there. Uh, it's a great place. I've been to Tokyo before. It's pretty gnarly. Um, heaps of experiences in different cultures all around. So I've loved it before. I definitely recommend it for everyone. When you think of South Korea, what comes to mind? Uh, K-pop and delicious food. Bulgogi, kimchi, food. Kimchi and the food, mostly. A lot of people. Plastic surgery. K-pop. Advanced, um, yet cultural. Outlandish art and music and all this kind of crazy fun stuff, I guess. Sort of like trendy, lots of fashion. Uh, I know they've got a big music scene. Um, yeah, just lots of shopping. Like Seoul, the main capital. Um, definitely the food, because I love Korean food. Um, K-pop. Yeah, K-pop, and that's pretty much it. Really good chicken. Really good chicken. Some some reason I just yeah, imagine it's so true. Chicken. Um, beauty. They have very good like beauty products, and they're very um, they're very progressive in comparison to the North Koreans. Uh, when I think of South Korea, I think of a bustling city filled with technology and uh, I guess lots of people. Um, I've actually experienced South Korea myself, and uh, I went to Seoul. Um, it was a great city, very atmospheric, um, lots of people. The food is very good. I like the Korean food. Uh, I've been to Seoul and it, it's really pretty. I only was able to be there briefly and it's extremely clean. Like it is very clean over there. They do not mess around. Looks like a beautiful country. Yeah, I've seen pictures and videos of it. It looks pretty nice. I like their esports, like League of Legends and, um, and all their world games they have going there. So what's the best thing about it? Hey, where to start? Um, the people are really nice. Um, when I was lost in J uh, Japan so many times, um, I basically became a master of charades when they helped me find my, my way home, so that's always that. Best thing about it? Definitely the people. The people that just make it like so homey. They're so lovely, friendly, especially when they come over here too. The food and the culture, maybe? The cherry blossom trees. Uh, I like the, the trees, the cherry blossom trees. I just rate them. Uh, the best part about Japan is uh, probably the shopping and anime district that's just pretty wild. It's a new experience for everyone. The best thing? I guess anime. <laughs> what would you say is the best thing about the country? Um, probably... Probably the, the, the food. Um, yeah, I like the food. It's healthy. It's fresh. Um, other than that, yeah, the people are very friendly. They're quite nice um, and polite. I think they're pretty, like advanced with their technology and yeah. 
it's sort of like Japan, I guess. Probably the fashion, the shopping. Everyone said they love the shopping there. The best thing that I found about South Korea was uh, just the general welcome nature of like the people there. Um, the food was really awesome. I found the food to be quite like a, a drawing attraction. The food. The food is really good. I like um, Korean fried chicken is really good and uh, Korean barbecue. Definitely the food. <laughs> um, and just like how friendly most Koreans that I've met are. They're really friendly, open, welcoming, which has been pretty good. Jimin from K-pop. Jimin from BTS. BTS, sorry. What's his name? Jimin. Jimin. Jimin from BTS. He only knows Jimin. And what's the worst thing? Is there, are there any bad things that you know of them? Um, them in World War II. <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't too good. Uh, I've heard of, there's a few gang issues over there, but it's all pretty contained. There are lovely people and it's a beautiful culture. I guess maybe just thinking about one thing that I would be afraid of or like maybe might be a bit intense is maybe the sheer amount of people there. It'd be too crammed. I don't like congestion. It's very busy. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine it's very, very busy, especially at like Tokyo or whatnot. Yeah. I wouldn't eat tentacles. I heard that's quite popular there. <laughs> Are there any bad things about South Korea that you've heard? Not that I know of. I don't know. <laughs> no? No. Not too down on the negatives of South Korea. Not South Korea. More North Korea than South Korea, so <laughs> yeah. not really. Um, it's next to North Korea. Yeah, just kind of bad by by association, like but apart from that. No, no. It, it's, it, I, I yeah, know. I haven't heard anything bad yeah, about Korea, honestly. Good. Yeah. Pollution and stuff, I guess. Like air pollution. Yeah. Maybe the mental health culture. Like the mental health culture, it's kind of looked down upon. Like that's the same with like in Japan and stuff. Like the mental health is very looked down upon up there. Probably just the beauty standards. You know, with all the skin whitening and the. Yeah, I don't really like their beauty standards that much. Beauty standards in Korea is also huge over there. Like a lot of people get plastic surgery because it's a, the norm, the standards. So yeah, South Korea is just crazy for like, plastic surgery and, and beauty standards. Even worse than I would say Western standards. And uh, if there's any Japanese viewers watching this video, what do you have to say to them? Come to Australia. Arigato, mate. Kawaii. If there's any Korean viewers watching this video, do you have a message for them? Come to Australia, it's great. Cheers. Oh, do something to help your brothers up north, please. <laughs> please. Um, 안녕하세요. <laughs> 안녕하세요. <laughs> That's all like that, I don't know. 안녕하세요. Hey, Hi. what's up? Hi from Australia. Cool, cool music guys. Keep it, keep it up. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Australia. Um, come to Australia. We all want everyone here and we love Korea. 오늘 영상은 여기까지입니다. 끝까지 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다.